morning. Welcome to another vlog with that preppy Italian girl. Um, today is Saturday and Renee is finally coming down. Um, hasn't made it down this year yet. Originally, I thought we were going to do um, a little girls day and stop at this pop-up event and get mani patties and lunch and just have a like, cute little girls day um however surprisingly a welcome surprise Vinny actually wanted to come down so slight change in plans we are going to take him bowling and lunch now so i haven't been bowling in years it'll be fun we'll see plus it's some good exercise and i get to see Vinny, so we will still have a lovely Saturday. Um, I am going to see though, because I don't think I'd be there very long if um, he'd be okay stopping still at that little pop-up thing. Because um, I do kind of still want to do that. And it's today only. I'm sure he'll probably be okay with it. He's like suffered through antique shops and that too, knowing that we're going bowling and he can pick lunch um, wherever we go for lunch. So I'm sure he'll be fine with that. Um, yeah, that is today's plan. They're on their way down now, so driving safely, I'm sure. And should get here about an hour or so based on when they left, and we will go from there. Now we wait. <laughs> casual today. I'm doing stuff around the house. I'm decorating, but yesterday was not only a surprise that Vinny came down, but I thought that we were going to be going bowling or something because that's what Renee said. Like, is it okay? We go bowling or whatever. So, um, he was okay with me going to my pop-up, but I didn't film anything at the pop-up because I actually was quite disappointed in the pop-up. So we were there like all of maybe 10 minutes. Um, We'll talk about that in another video. Um, I'm not going to give them a shout out though because I was disappointed in it and I don't want to badmouth the small business because, uh, whoa, another video. Um, in any regard, surprisingly, once he got here, Vinny was upset that he didn't come for Bufana. Well, not upset for Bufana, I guess. But he expected that I was cooking an Italian meal. Like, I did that for two weeks in a row and they weren't able to come down. And then we knew he couldn't come the third week. So it's like four weeks after Bufana and the kid's still wanting an Italian meal cooked. I didn't know, I didn't plan to be cooking an Italian meal after I did it twice and they couldn't make it down, which was no fault of their own, but it was kind of cooked out, I guess, um, in any regard. So then he wanted to go and have Italian. So he went and ate lunch at Anton's where the boy ordered this huge bowl of pasta that could have been in the middle of a family size feast or something with five meatballs that he ate all of. God, that kid's growing. Um, yeah, so he wanted Italian, so we went for Italian. Then, when um, we brought up about the bowling, I had socks in my purse because I had worn like my Gucci mules and stuff, and I didn't have socks with them. So I took a pair of socks in my purse because of bowling, you know, gotta have socks. And they rape you on the prices there for like socks there, I think are like four bucks for one pair or something of these. Anyway, I took socks in my purse. Well, he didn't want to go bowling. 
he didn't, as you saw. He wanted to go and play bocce. So we ended up taking him to um, a place here called Steel Valley Brew Works that's like a restaurant bar thing. Yeah, I had a kid in a bar. Okay, I get it, joke, whatever. I grew up in a St. Anthony's, Sons Italy. It's fine. Um, and plus there were other like little toddlers in there and stuff too. We didn't set them at the bar. Anyway, um, he wanted to go play bocce. So we went there to Steel Valley Brew Works. They have indoor bocce and pool. So we let him play pool and bocce and had a great time with them, but it just shocked me that he wanted to do all those Italian things. So we thought he just wanted to do little boy things, but no, he wanted to do Italian things, which was fine with me, of course. Um, so it was a lovely day yesterday with them. And then today I'm dressed casual because I have been going around and setting up my decor, finally getting the house completely put back together. I got the Christmas down, but I didn't get like things back together for the next go around or whatever. I don't know. I just was lazy about it. It took a while to do it. Um, and then I was looking at dates on the calendar though, and things feel fall kind of weird this year. Um, I usually decorate for carnival, Fat Tuesday, Carnival, and also do little touches like for Valentine's Day. Well, this year, you'll see when I show you, um, they're kind of like hodgepodge mixed together because Carnival, Fat Tuesday, is the day before Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is also on Ash Wednesday. So I kind of tried to merge the two holidays together. I'm not sure how well that came out, but I want to celebrate both and have little touches of things around. So, um, I only did like a few touches in the living room and, um, the dining room, of course, like for the table setting and the buffet and that, um, I did of course change out my dish towels and my hand towel in the bathroom, but we're, I mean, we don't need to go around and include that on part of the tour, like hand towels and that, um, cause that's the only thing I did up there. But yeah, so, um, let me show you what I did for Carnival V-Day. I don't know. We'll merge it and make up a new holiday, right? Um, let me know down in the comments if you realize that they were both like so close together or whatever. And I don't know if you're Catholic, is that going to make an impact on your Valentine's Day dinner? You're going to have to go for Ash Wednesday Lent specials. I don't know. I don't know, maybe many people don't really adhere to that still anymore. Um, in any regard, um, yeah, let me show you what I got going on. Oh wait, before we do that though, one more thing I did forget to show you. Um, I hadn't seen Renee, so we did a gift exchange and she revealed to me that she had gone to the barn sale for me and has a bunch of gifts ahead, so more McKinsey child coming my way, but isn't this gorgeous? The most adorable, it's gonna be wonderful for Easter. I think I might put some grass in there and the colored eggs or something. It's just like this bluish mint green inside and looks like a white chocolate bunny. It's It doesn't come out as part of the bowl. How gorgeous is that? I was so excited. Um, so yeah, late Christmas gift, okay. Now I shared that with you. Let's go look at the Carnival V-Day decor. All right, so while we're not gonna see dish towels, I do wanna share my, and we are gonna see dish towels, we're not gonna see the hand towels, but I do wanna share my towels set because I just absolutely love these. I picked them up a couple of years ago at Big Lots and they're just adorable. Little wrinkle, pulled them out of the cupboard and I need to clean my cupboards, wow. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I love the wine you're with. I just thought that was adorable. So let's head into, um, I've got my real housewives of Youngstown on the stove. Let's head around the corner here on the end. Um, it's winter still, but this may look a little Christmassy still to some, but I took the roses that have like some pine with it and some eucalyptus tied in there. Added the McKinsey bow and the McKinsey red and um, a check curly Q thing and some snowflakes. 
Um, it's actually been kind of nice weather here again, though, in Northeast Ohio, but it is um, winter, so I thought that was still appropriate. And then around the corner, let me get the lights on. This is what I did to mix the holidays together. So over here on the buffet in the chicken here, I've got some grapevine, just cause it goes with the top of the ceiling there. I've still got the wallpaper border. Um, I've got some grapevine in there, some picks of roses, a little pink tulle, and some curly cues in gold and that. And then I have Florida Lee candles in these black candle holders that are borrowed from my mom um, up there. My mom made this garland um, a couple years ago. I've been using it since she made it. Up top here, I still left in the frosted roses from Christmas. That'll focus, there we go. Uh, the frosted roses from Christmas with some, it's still out of focus. Well, there we go. Um, greenery in there as well still too, and that owl is always up there. It's my grandma looking down on me, and um, my infant, one of my infant and progs over there, and then the other ones on that side. Um, on the mantle, I decided to not put the wine pitcher back yet, just yet. Um, I left the fox hunt ones up that I put from Christmas. The, um, I use napkins as like a runner type thing. Those are just um, cloth napkins. And I had to add in a little titch of leopard um, just to bring over because there was leopard in the garland that she had made as well. The white roses, you might remember from a vlog a few years back, my dad sent me those. They're faux, but um, he sent me those for Valentine's Day. And I put a crown on the one side with Fleur de Lis and my carnival mask from Italy in the middle. So mixture of both, Valentine's Day gift, carnival mask, red, and Fleur de Lis and crown just as whatever. It's perfect for whatever. Um, on the table here, this runner was made by my mom and I pull it out um, each year since she's made it. It's got little cupcakes, and she put this fringe garland on the end. She sewed this by hand. So, red candles there with it. Um, this I've got these lights. I didn't put batteries in yet, but the little heart lights mixed in with the little pink tulle again. I found these candles in a box down the cellar um, that look like the uh, sweetheart candies. So I thought those were cute in that antique bowl with some Mardi Gras beads to mix in for the two combination. And I've just got these here because you have to use a placemat with this new table when you eat. So that was what I did. Not a ton, but enough a touch and combine the holidays. So in the living room, over here on the shoe cupboard, remember the lady from Halloween, um, I said she'd be back at Mardi Gras. She came from TJ Maxx, and there she is. And then I've got a McKinsey Child little short vase with some roses, some um, snowy looking pick and greenery. Just, it is winter. I took an old crock and went around and got all the pheasant feathers from Christmas, put them in there. So I like how that came out. Over here on top of the crate, I've still got the um, check urn thing and I brought my other crock down and an arrangement of roses and just added in some red votive cups with little votive candles in there. The dogs have been tearing up the couch today, just sitting everywhere. Let me pause the TV. So yeah, I think Coco's in this actually. There she is. There's Coco. Oh yes, 
There she is. So on the um, ottoman here, I decided to change it a little bit. I've still got the candle with the cross that I always have, but I took my little um, set of books and stacked them here with the, Dante, I don't wanna play ball right now. Um, my little wooden dough bowl to hold the remotes and that. And yeah, I just think that's a nice little change for that. And then on the TV here, I've got that vase of roses and greenery that you'll remember I picked up um, at TJ Maxx in the after Christmas sale. It was one of the only things I got. I still haven't seen my one cousin, so that's her gift still stacked there. I'm hoping to see her next weekend and get that to her. But yeah, just little touches. So yeah, just little touches around, not a lot. I, I don't know. We'll be going into Easter soon. I feel like Valentine's is right around the corner. Everything's just like time has flown since Christmas. It's just really flown. I look a mess. But like I said, I was doing this today and taking stuff to the basement and organizing still the totes down the cellar. I had to get back in order in the basement. So that's why um, sometimes you don't always look top of the line, especially when you're doing stuff around the house. It just is what it is. It's reality, right? Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments, uh, what you did as far as decor in that went and yeah. Um, like I said before too, I don't really have a lot of Valentine stuff and I think that's because I do the no spend January. So maybe this year, I think I said that last year though, but maybe this year I really need to buy some stuff when it goes on sale. If there's anything left after to have more Valentine's things anyway. So I don't know. But in any regard, thank you for watching and spending time with me this week and give it a thumbs up if you liked it or any part of the decor or got ideas or anything like that, um, just to help support the channel so it grows and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.